and one property manager who runs this apartment building here in Magnolia and 22 others across the city of Seattle says he's been urging his tenants to check their mailboxes most every day because they're seeing a rise in mail theft from people who are breaking in. Take a look at this blue haired suspect. It's a violation and it's very unsettling for a lot of people. You can see he pulls a tool out of his pocket. Basically like a, a pair of pliers, but they, they can open wide and they just really strong arm the doorknob, which was locked. It's 2.30 in the morning. Eventually, he's able to break the lock to get in. His first stop, the mail room. There was a piece of mail there. He uh, instantly took that. And he later grabs the other piece of loose mail. Mail thefts, this property manager says, have been a recurring problem recently in the 22 apartment buildings he runs across Seattle. They'll be hitting the same exact night. And it's not even just like Christmas, it's all year round we get uh, we get mailbox break-ins. They'll take a, a pry device, they'll rip the, uh, the basically the, uh, the United States Post Office or Postmaster's key and the whole entire uh, cage opens. So he's investing in security. Uh, we now have a doorknob cover, this is a, another anti theft device as repairs easily a six thousand dollar replacement job are getting pricey it's a constant it's just um, it happens all the time we know what you're doing I sat down with the USPS postal inspector who says we're seeing a rise in mail theft locally people aren't after the card the birthday card that grandma's sending you they're after the birthday card that grandma's sending you that also has a check in it or they're after your bank statement that may have a new credit card that they can go use so USPS is investing in security different locking systems that are being upgraded and is asking you to help protect your mail by emptying your mailbox more frequently because the longer it's there, the more opportunity it gives for somebody to steal that. And if you recognize the individual in that surveillance video, you're asked to call 911 and notify Seattle Police Department. Reporting live, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.